Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to build this smart card frame from the kit. As you can see here from this kit, we are going to build this car. In every step, I'm going to show you, and also at the end, this has a servo steering, and at the end, we are going to test the steering to make sure that it works. I'm going to make a lot of other videos related to this frame, including but not limited to just uh, controlling the motors um, uh, going forward and backward and also obstacle avoidance and also steering control too so it can turn left and right so watch out and follow the videos and start building it and then we will go to the electronic first attachment of these elements to make it look like a car so these are the frame parts that have arrived so we got four wheels two of them already attached with these Perhaps they are telling us not to put a motor here. So the two will get these motors. And then we have a servo for the steering. Then there are other hardware for the servo and standoff stuff. And then also the four battery. So let's start with this. So we got these parts here. I have no instruction as to how to proceed with this. So the first thing, let's remove all these uh, protective layers on the from the laser cut. So from this bag get this uh, plus type with the two screws and then we are attaching it to this piece so on this make sure that put this this has a bump on this side and this side is flat so put it down like that and then from the bottom just use one of the screws to tighten it. So this goes from the right, it goes to the one, two, third, and on to the third one. So this is now done. Now get these two pieces, and one of this, this one, a long piece, and we will attach the standoff here at this piece at the standoff at the end of it so we're attaching it here two here and also two on the other one screw it from the bottom and now attach so this is done now we will put uh, two standoff on each on this and on this so one here and one here that tighten the screw from the top so i've made these two ready like that so make sure that you understand it and see these two holes here so the two goes up while holes are here and here same thing so these two are similar now attach this one to this this way this is now attached and attach it to the other side here with two other screws so there is the final result of this piece now let's get the servo you see here the shaft is on this side not like that so hold it like that and you see the triangular shape is on the other side we put it here and then using these screws just put a screw here and a nut on the other side and tighten it so use four one two and then three and four the, the servo is now attached as you can see here now from this side the flat side we are just inserting it here 
and then we turn this around and this piece will be now attached here after that we get one of these wheels and insert this here so this is inserted here then this piece will come here at the top and uh, so these two small um, exits will enter here So once you insert this, this will hold the tire, but we have to tighten the screw from the bottom, the two screws here. And the same thing on the other side, this is now attached, but we have some room to move this, so that is not a problem. Just make sure to insert the bottom first, and then at the top, and then we tighten the screws. Now this has been attached fully, as you can see, up to this part. Now this uh, attached this bumper in here with two screws from the top and then the nut from the bottom. So the wires that you got, if mine has four, so just rip the apart so two by two these are for motors and then we will solder the wires into the motor so insert it from the bottom and solder it so i have i've soldered the motors wire now we will get these long screws that will pass through from this side make sure that you insert it from this side and the wire should be on this side not on that side so this is outside this is inner side so so let's insert this one from the bottom here like that and then we will insert a screw here and then we will pass it through this so this is inner side that's outside and this side we will put one more you can see here and then pass it through this and then we will attach two uh, two nuts here so one motor is now attached see how it looks like and then the screws so this is the important part that you should know that this is the top so you are inserting it and put the motor now I'll do the same thing for another motor and here again making sure the wires are inner and do the same thing here the motor like that and then get this piece from the bottom insert it and then pass this screw from this side from the lower one first and it passes and then the top one and passes and tighten the nuts so this looks loosened but don't worry when, uh, when uh, the other part comes on top of it it will be held tight now using uh, this long standoff so attach three on this side that the side that is the wires so put three of them like that and then attach it and two here so i'm gonna do it on the side of the wire i have three and then on this side i have two where the wheels will go so two of those now hold this like this where the servo is at the bottom put it here put it on top of this uh, portion and then put this piece the other piece 
and then tighten making sure that these will pass through the uh, this uh, board So once those passes through the holes, then you can uh, tighten the screw here. Now this has been tightened here, three. If you have extra standoff, just put here and here and then tighten it. For me the three is enough and now this looks like this. So you can extend it like this and attach this so the car will be longer. Otherwise you can just put it underneath here, remove this piece and then we put it. So it looks like this and I can attach the wheels. Now the, this is now fully complete. Now let me see and check make sure that the servo can rotate this. So I have connected the servo controller from here. I have connected it from an EUC. So there is five volts already here. So when I rotate this, so that is the maximum on this side. If I rotate it slowly, it goes to this side. Notice that this is touching the tire. You can see here, so you see, now it's touching. So, this is not good. Well, to rotate more, then this should be removed or either you should cut it. So this bumper is not a proper design. Thank you for watching. So this was the assembly of this smart card kit frame. And uh, please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos related to this and other robotics or Duino projects. Take care.